In this Trust Wallet tutorial, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about this crypto mobile wallet to help you get started and become a pro on the platform. I will show you how to set up your Trust Wallet account correctly and activate some important settings. I will then walk you through how to send and receive coins with some live examples. Next, I will show you how to buy some crypto through this app without doing any KYC and providing your private information. I will also go through some of the unique features like staking, which will allow you to earn some extra passive income along the way. And as a bonus, towards the end of this video, I will show you more ways to earn passive income with your cryptos that you own. So make sure to stick with me till the end. But for now, let's get scoping. Trust Wallet is also the perfect companion to anyone who trades on Binance already, as they have been acquired and is currently owned by Binance themselves. So most of the coins that Binance offers on their website is also supported on Trust Wallet here. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I will leave my bonus sign up link for you here so you can save some extra money on your trading fees. First go to trustwallet.com. This is Trust Wallet's official website where I recommend you download the app from. And now Trust Wallet recognizes that I have an Android phone so I can click on get it on Google Play. But if you do have an Apple phone, the link will take you to the App Store instead. And it will be very clear to see if it's the right app or not. Trust Wallet is one of the most popular crypto wallets out there. As you can see, there's over 10 million users just on the Android side. So now we click on install and now click on open. Now you'll be presented with two different options. Either create a new wallet here or recover your existing wallet if you've already created one before. But in this case, we're going to create a new wallet. Accept their terms and privacy policy, then click on continue. Now this is a warning on their 12 word recovery phrase. You must remember this and write it down and record it somewhere safe where no one can get access to it. Because if you don't remember these 12 words, you will not be able to access your crypto wallet and lose access to all your funds. Even Trust Wallet will not be able to recover this for you. So now I click on I understand, click on continue again. And here's my 12 word recovery phrase and you can either click on copy or show the QR code and scan that and then put it somewhere safe where no one has access to it. And remember to never share these 12 words with anyone. Once you've done that, click on continue. Now you have to verify the recovery phrase that you just copied in the correct order. And once you've done that correctly, you can click on done. And there it is, our wallet has been created successfully. This will bring you to Trust Wallet's dashboard where you'll be able to see the total value of your current wallet and all your favorite coins that you have saved on the dashboard. Now, before we get into the buying, selling, transfers, and staking, let's first go and configure our Trust Wallet app in the settings section. We click here, and under wallets, you can see this is the first multi-coin wallet that we just created together. You can also change the name by clicking here and entering in a more relevant name for you. Now, if you forgot your recovery phrase, you can also get it from here. Now we go back, Trust Wallet also has a dark mode. If you click here, then you can see here, everything is in dark mode now. So that's a handy feature to have for someone who uses it. The next and most important setting is the security settings. So under passcode, I definitely recommend you turn this on and set your new passcode specifically just for this app. And once you've activated that, it will present you with another option, which is transaction signing. I would also turn that on. So this means that you have to input your six digit security code every time you make a transaction. Both these security features are very important features, which I believe you must install on your app to keep it safe. And on a side note, if you want to know how secure the Trust Wallet app is, they have passed a security review done by Stateful. And you can read more about it from this document here. And also Trust Wallet is an open source wallet where you can access all the repository on their GitHub page. So that's something I really like about Trust Wallet is that they're really open and transparent with their users. Now we can go back. The next option is push notifications. I also turn this on myself so I can be notified when I send and receive coins. And in the preference tab, you can change your currency to your own local currency or even in Bitcoin or Ethereum if that's how you like to view your assets. Now the next useful setting is the price alerts. And you can set price alerts by turning this on and choosing the coin that you care about. For example, Bitcoin, it will alert you when there is a significant price change on the up or down. Now coming down to the last useful feature worth mentioning, which is Wallet Connect. This is an open source service which allows you to connect your mobile wallet to decentralized applications. And I'll show you an example of how to do this later on in the video. 
Now that we got the settings out of the way, we can go back to our wallet's dashboard. And this is where you're gonna be sending and receiving funds and you can also buy more crypto here, which I'll show you this right now. But before that, let's just click here to see some more coins that are on offer on Trust Wallet. So there's a massive list here that you can go through and choose from, or you can also type in the token that you're searching for. For example, if I want to look for Stellar Lumens or XLM is a ticker, then I can type that in and click here to add it to my dashboard or click on the actual coin and it will take me to my Stellar Lumens wallet where I can send this coin or receive it by clicking here and it will show my actual wallet where you can copy the address, scan the QR code or even sharing it to another app. If we go back, you can also choose to buy Stellar Lumens from this actual screen here but I'll show you how to do it from the home screen in a little bit. And if you click on the top right corner here, this will take you to your coin summary page where you can see a rough chart within the time period. It is obviously not as good as the candlestick charts that you can see on the trading platforms like Binance or even on the TradingView app, but it's still a good start. And you can choose the time period that you want to see here, set price alerts, read a little bit about what the token is about, even go to their website, check out the market cap and volume, and click through to the coin market cap page if you want to as well. So now let's go back to our dashboard and you can see here Stellar has been added to the dashboard. But if you don't want it here anymore, you can slide your finger to the left and click on disable and that'll disappear from your home screen. Now let's get on to the sending and receiving crypto part. This is gonna be the main reason you want to use this Trust Wallet app. If you wanna send funds to your friends, family or another crypto wallet or even an exchange or receive funds from anyone, then I'll show you how to do this. So we can first click on receive and choose the coin that you want to receive funds to. In this example, I will do Binance, BNB coin. Click that. Now you can either scan the barcode or copy this address and send it to the person who's gonna give you the crypto. But in this case, I'm gonna be transferring my BNB coin from the Binance exchange, which I really recommend you use as well. So now under my Binance app, on the BNB withdrawal page, I can tap here to scan the barcode from Trust Wallet or I can just click here and paste in the address that I had before. And then under network, for this BNB that I selected, it is gonna be under the BEP2 network. Just a quick side note for you to know that if it's gonna be a BEP20 token, then the first two letters will have to be zero and an X, not BNB. And now for the amount, I'm just gonna do the minimum possible. When you're first making a crypto payment to a new address or a new application, I always recommend to transfer the minimum possible to double check that it works. Then once your first small transaction comes through successfully, then you can transfer the bulk of it afterwards. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And then I'll click on withdraw. And for Trust Wallet, there's no memo required. So I'll click submit and click on confirm. And now I'll paste in my verification codes and now I'll click on submit. And that's it, my withdrawal has been successful. So now we can go back to our Trust Wallet app and give it a few seconds for my BNB to come through. And there it is, you can see that my BNB has arrived successfully and my total balance is worth $5.85. One quick note that I have to make with sending and receiving your crypto is that Trust Wallet is a multi-coin wallet which has different address for all the different coins you have. For example, we saw BNB, our address ends with DFQE, but if we go to our Bitcoin address, the address ends with FNL6. You can see here they are different. So every time you're transferring a different asset, they all have a different wallet address. So you must click into the individual wallet to copy the actual address. Sending your crypto to the wrong address means that you'll lose your coins. Okay, now let's move on to buying crypto with your Trust Wallet app. From the home page, you can click on buy and now we can choose a coin that we want to purchase. For this example, let's do Bitcoin. Trust Wallet does not charge you any fees for buying crypto on their platform. They are just a third party facilitator of buying these assets. You can see here, if I buy $150 worth of BTC, I will either be able to choose MoonPay, which is automatically there, or Simplex if I want. But Trust Wallet automatically select the best rate for you. For example, if I only wanna buy $50 worth of BTC, then this time Simplex will have a better rate. So it just depends on how much, but Trust Wallet will pick the cheapest provider for you. So now you can click on next, and this will actually take you to the partner's site where you'll just enter in your credit card information and there'll be no KYC involved. You don't have to give up your privacy and send them any documents. You can simply just put in your credit card details, click next and buy your crypto. 
So you can see with this method, it is very quick and easy to purchase a crypto, even though you won't get the best rate as buying crypto with your credit card has very high fees from three to even 5%. It is very convenient and will be the quickest way to buy crypto straight into your trust wallet. But for larger purchases, I do still recommend you using an exchange like Binance, which I do myself, as it will save you lots more on fees. And talking about the fees, the special bonus link that I have in the description for you will also save you a bit extra on fees. So you can sign up for a new account with that as well to save on even more fees. So you can see here, I've done a sample calculation for you. If you buy $50 worth of Bitcoin from Trust Wallet, you will get 0.00123 Bitcoin. But if you purchase it on Binance, you'll get 0.001399 Bitcoin. That means it's still around 13% cheaper to buy your Bitcoin from Binance. Hence why I said with larger amounts, definitely use the Binance option, which have one of the best rates anyway. And if you like tips like this, then you can show your appreciation by hitting that like button. You can also subscribe with the bell button if you want more useful crypto content like this. Now the next thing we can do once we've loaded some crypto into our trust wallet account is to trade and swap some of our tokens. And you can do that by clicking on the DEX button at the bottom here. This will allow me to swap one coin for another. For example, I currently have some BNB balance. I can swap it for another coin, for example, Anchor. Then I can select the percentage I want, 50 or 100%. And if you're happy with the amount of Anchor you will receive, which is 70 here, then you can click on swap. Or there's another way which looks a bit more complicated but you have more control of your assets where you can set buy and sell orders which is using the exchange tab and you can click here and select the pair that we want to trade and i'll use anchor and bnb again and now you can set buy and sell orders here for example if i only want to buy anchor at 0.00024 then i can put in the price that i'm willing to buy and then for the amount again if i want 50 percent i can do that or if I just want 10 anchor, I can also do that. And now I can click on buy anchor and then click on send, authorize the transaction. And now my order has been submitted. You can see here my BNB tokens will only be swapped to the anchor token once the price hit 0.0024 only. Right now it's at 0.00262. So my order has not been executed yet. And you can still click on cancel here. And now my order is no longer there. This gives you a greater control at the price point that you want to buy your token at. Now the next feature on Trust Wallet I want to show you is how to stake your cryptocurrency. We can do that by clicking on wallet then going to finance. And under finance you can see currently Trust Wallet has six different cryptos that you can stake and make some passive income from. So for example Binance, you can get an annual return of over 23%. This means that if you deposit one BNB coin in 12 months time, you're gonna have 1.23 BNB. This is a really good return for a crypto asset that you already currently own and is just sitting there not earning any passive income. One minor negative I do have on staking on Trust Wallet is that they have a minimum requirement. For example, BNB, I would need to have a minimum of one BNB to be able to stake on Trust Wallet. So now I have to go and add some more BNB to show you this example and I'll quickly do that now. So now I've sent over some BNB and now I have a total of over one BNB. So I can go ahead and stake my BNB on the Trust Wallet app. You can do that by clicking on more and then click stake. Enter in the BNB amount that you want. For this one, I just wanna do one BNB. Choose your validator and Defibit is an active validator that I trust but make sure to do your own research and pick the one that's right for you. So I'll choose this one and then click on continue. It'll show you the network fees and the total amount that you're depositing. And once you're happy with that, click on send. Now I will approve my transaction and there it is. I've staked my one BNB and this means that I cannot access this one BNB and send it to someone else. I will need to unstake this first to be able to have free access in my available balance and to transfer it to another wallet. And to unstake, you just simply go back to more and click on unstake, select the amount and continue on to the steps. It's very simple to do. Here's a quick question for you. What is your favorite feature from the Trust Wallet app so far? Let me know in the comments section below. So now you know how to use some unique features like the swap and staking on Trust Wallet. I also wanna tell you that you can do the same thing through DeFi apps or dApps. And you can do that on your Android phone by clicking on the dApps at the bottom here. And if it doesn't show up, you can go to the settings, click on preference, dApp browser, 
and enable it. But if you're using an iPhone, then you may have a problem with this as the App Store has banned this feature from Trust Wallet. But there is a hack or a fix to sort this out and you can go to this video here to learn about this quick fix. So we can go back to the DAP section now and you can see here there are so many different decentralized applications that do many different things and you'll be able to explore each one by clicking on them. But you can see here the main ones like PancakeSwap and Uniswap are available and the purpose of them is to be able to swap your crypto and also you're able to earn passive income through staking on that platform as well. And if you want more information on exactly how to use your Trust Wallet app with a dApp like PancakeSwap or Uniswap, then I have a step-by-step -step tutorial for this exact exchange here. So also check out this video if you need more help on this. But just to quickly show you that it's worthwhile checking out, so on a dApp like PancakeSwap, you can earn some pretty juicy rewards by staking your crypto on this dApp. You can see just from this small list, it can go as high as over 100% return on your investment. But this is just one app and one platform to earn some money by staking your crypto. If you already hold some crypto and are looking for more ways to diversify and earn more passive income, then you may as well take advantage of these bonus offers I have, which is worth $375. You simply just have to go to the links in the description below and sign up for these platforms and start staking your cryptos. You can see here through my links, BlockFi will give you up to $250 Celsius Network is going to be a $50 bonus. Crypto.com is also not bad at $25. Same thing with Ledin at $25. And lastly, Voyager is going to be $25 as well. My favorites, which I use for the long term, are BlockFi, Celsius Network, and Crypto.com. But Ledin and Voyager is still worthwhile signing up and getting the bonus as well. If you need more information on these staking platforms, then I recommend you check out this playlist here where I do an in-depth review on all of these applications. But if you want to learn more about Trust Wallet and how to interact with dApps like PancakeSwap or Uniswap, then I recommend you check out this video here. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.